Hello, and welcome back to another doujinshi reading from White Album 2. Today we're looking at something that's not entirely doujinshi, but this is actually a direct follow-up to one of the other ones we did, which was Line and Laugh. Now, Line and Laugh was a kind of like a doujinshi booklet of images, and these images were meant to be made into a calendar. And so, as you can see, you might recognize it if you saw my previous video of Line and Laugh. This is the finished product. So this is the actual calendar itself. This calendar has images from White Album 1 and White Album 2. So right off the bat, this is like the cover page of the calendar. And you can see that there's a bunch of different art styles, which is really cool. And that's because it's a bunch of different people collaborating on this calendar together, a bunch of different doujinshi artists, which I think is a really cool concept in itself. So we're gonna see each of these kind of panels on a different calendar page. So let's go ahead and move on. This is the White Album 2 2014 calendar. And you can see the artist's names down below, and we'll see them in a bit more detail momentarily. So starting out, January and February. So we're gonna go two months at a time. And the very first page has a full body image of Setsuna, and she looks gorgeous in her introductory chapter outfit. This shading is a little bit more dynamic than a lot of other artists. You can tell that like whole strands of hair have been shaded rather than shading every piece lightly. And I think it really works well for it. Gosh, 2014. How often can you reuse a calendar? Like there is a certain point where it can be reused. I wonder, I'll have to look. Then moving on to March, we have another Setsuna, which I think is a very bold way to start a White Album 2 calendar. Granted that Kazusa is obviously, for obvious reasons, a very popular character. But the background of this page, I feel like is so good. Because if we look back up, I mean, I love this page, don't get me wrong, but it's a very simplified style, right? It has the white background with the blue snowflakes. Then we come down here and it's like, oh, so good, so incredible. The lighting here, really, really nice, taking us into March and April. And who wouldn't want to give Setsuna a hug? Then moving into May and June, and May and June actually focuses on White Album 1, the two main heroines here. Really pretty, a little bit serious compared to the last few pages. If you see my other videos, you probably know, a lot of the White Album 2 official art looks so sad. Or maybe not sad, but definitely not happy, you know, like this look right here. This, I feel like, really takes after that kind of art style. But I wish they were smiling. I don't know. I know it's a different emotion. It's good to portray new emotions, but it's a calendar. I want to look at my calendar and see beautiful, smiling women. But I guess to each their own. Moving on to July, we have another White Album 1 heroine. Very, very tiny. I love her little mittens. They're very cute. This line art, specifically from Line and Laugh, was so like thin and bare bones almost, like there was no shading to it or anything whatsoever. And so to see it like fleshed out like this in the calendar, the comparison is just so cool. If you haven't read my Line and Laugh video, I just recommend taking a look just so you can compare the before and after. It is really impressive. Finally, finally, we get to a Kazusa page, September and October. And I really like the background too. I love the gradient. I love the snowflakes. Of course, Kazusa is painted with tints of blue. And something that's interesting that we actually read in an interview recently, a White Album 2 interview, was that the use of blue tones is so apparent in the White Album 2 game, like blue undertones to kind of set the mood, especially with Kazusa. And so I kind of like how the artist took inspiration from that and then kind of put it into their image of Kazusa as well. 
these nice blue tones. Really, really pretty. And we get a double Kazusa back to back because we are into November and December. Really, really pretty. Of course, we gotta have a Kazusa with the concert outfit because what is a White Album 2 piece of merch if it doesn't have any of the concert outfits? I mean, at that point, it's just, it's a trope that has to be done again and again and for good reason as well. Really nice line art on this one. I feel like this is the most crisp and cleaned up. I'm not saying it's the best, but it just looks really, really good. As far as technical skill goes, I really like this one. And that brings us to the end of the calendar. So thanks so much for checking it out with me. I hope you found some pages. I love all of them. They're all really nice. But of course, I gotta say that I like the White Album 2 pages the best. So thanks so much for joining me on this doujinshi reading from White Album 2, and I'll be back with more doujin readings in the future. Until then, hope you take care. See you!